hey it's your girl danielle hey 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 everybody how y'all doing how y'all doing what up what up what up hope everybody's having a good holiday it's almost that time don't forget my birthday's coming up hey y'all hey y'all sorry i haven't been getting on here y'all i've been slightly um i want to say distracted but actually i've been over here fighting my own storms and i'm not really it's not really me fighting my storms maybe so um since i've been let me just tell y'all since i've been getting on here sending out all this positive energy right um and helping people like literally people's been reaching out to me and we just have um conversations right just some sometimes you just need to talk through some stuff right it's not even about seeing a psychologist or a head shrink or whatever it's just needing somebody that's not gonna pass judgment on you and make you feel um worthless to talk to y'all see my little hat i got my bun on there to kind of keep it up anyway so there's been some people that um has reached out to me and we've had conversations and I've been able to give them just a different perspective, right? And just giving them a different perspective, it helped them. So with me giving out all that energy, of course, you know, the devil's going to start attacking me, right? Y'all know that's going to happen. And that's what happened. So, but here's, here's the thing, y'all. I'm so unbothered now because I've, I've went through my own healing process to where I am able to help other people who are serious about going through their healing process. I've been able to give them pointers on what I've been doing. Like I'm so unbothered that these storms are, are, are not bothering me either. And if they do, it doesn't bother me for long, right? <clears throat> so <sighs> the devil's been coming for me, y'all. The devil's been coming for me. Um, it's crazy. Um, one thing I will say is that Jesus never said that life was going to get easy, right, when you walk with him. He never said it was going to get easy. What he said was, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, right? And so I truly believe that. And so I'm not going to go into a whole lot about the storms that I'm experiencing just yet. And that's only because the Holy Spirit told me that he doesn't want my thought process tainted with worldly negativity. So y'all understand that. Sometimes when you're going through a storm, you definitely have to be careful on who you talk to about what you're going through, right? Because they can plant negative seeds in your thought process and mess up the whole situation of what God has planned for you, right? So God already told me in this situation, he's going to move mountains, right? So all I got to do is let God be God. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to share it with you guys later because this is going to be a testimony, but I can't say a whole lot about it now. What I will say is that I am facing the spirit of envy, right? The spirit of envy, y'all. And it's hard for me to understand it. Because I've never been envious of anybody. Like, I've never been envious. Now, I've been jealous, okay? I'm going to be all the way 100 with y'all. Y'all know me. I'm going to tell the truth. I've been jealous before, but that was when I didn't know my worth, right? So, there's a difference. Y'all do know the difference, right, between jealous and envious? Okay, for those who don't, let me tell you. So, jealous is when you have something and you're worried about somebody taking it, right? That's jealous. Like, let's say relationships. You have a man, you have a husband, you have a boyfriend, but you're wait, you're worried about another woman or, you know, you have a wife, a girlfriend, you worried about another man taking your girlfriend, your wife, ladies, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever. Okay, so that's jealous because it's yours and you're worried about somebody taking what's yours. Or that's what we're going to say if you in a relationship. We're going to say it's your relationship. You're worried about somebody taking your relationship. That's jealousy. I've been jealous before. Especially when I didn't know my worth. Now, boy, if you don't know my worth, bye. Gone. 
good luck to you. I'm not jealous like that anymore because I've done my healing. But envious, y'all, envious is when you see somebody else with something and you are mad that they have it and you want to take it. You want that, right? That's envious. So you see somebody with a Mercedes and you're mad about that Mercedes and because you're mad that they have it, you might sabotage it or something, or you start throwing shots at them, or you start hating on them because they have something you want, right? And you can't obtain that, or at least that's how you feel is you can't obtain that. So that's the difference between jealousy and envious, two different things. I have never seen somebody that had something and felt like, oh, because they have it and I can't have it. I'm mad about it because I've never felt like somebody had something that I couldn't obtain too. I've never felt like that. So the way the spirit of envy showed up in my life, it's like crabs in a barrel. Y'all know that saying, right? Crabs in a barrel. So people will cheer you on until they feel like you're doing better than them. Then they'll try to do whatever they can to pull you back down, right? I've never been that person because I've always felt like if somebody I know raises up here and they're at a higher level, that just means that God's still giving out blessings. So my blessing is coming too. Let me do what I need to do so I can get to this level. I've never felt like somebody had something that I couldn't get. So I've never been envious. I've been jealous, but I haven't been envious. So that's what I'm going through, y'all. So just pray for me because it's not going to it's not going to prosper and again God already said he's going to move mountains for me so I'm not worried about that um at all not at all so I also wanted to um tell you guys that I am going to do the Zoom meeting for Christmas so a couple of people reached out to me and they said that they don't have family for Christmas um and they would like to do the Zoom um the Zoom meeting. So I have a, a couple that's a truck drivers and they're going to be on the road. So they said if they have reception, wherever they're going to be at, that they would like to do a Zoom um, Christmas with us because they feel disconnected being out there on the road and they don't have a whole lot of family. So that's one. And then I have a couple of other people that um, said they wanted to do Zoom too. So what I'm thinking, y'all, is we're just going to do a self-care, um, holistic spa. It's, I'm not charging anybody for this. The Zoom is completely free So for men and women. So if you're interested, inbox me by tomorrow so I can tell you the couple of things that you're going to need to get so that we can do the holistic spa. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do self-care on Christmas. I will still do Christmas you know, play some Christmas music in the background. Um, so that's what I'm going to do just for, because I really do care y'all. This, this is not a front. Like I'm really this positive. I've always been optimistic. Like I've always been the person that sees the glass half full as opposed to seeing it half empty. So I really do care. So I really am going to do this Zoom Christmas. So if you're interested, please inbox me, okay? Because I'm, I'm serious about this. I'm really going to do it. So I just wanted to get that out there. Um, and that's pretty much it, y'all. You know, I'm just I'm just over here chilling. I'm, I'm so unbothered. And you know what's so crazy? So the devil tried to just attack me in other ways, right? And I was so unbothered by it. It didn't bother me. That now he started trying to attack me through my children. And that's how he moves. Ooh, he gets shady, but it's okay. It's okay because my faith is higher, is, is bigger than a mustard seed, okay? My faith is bigger than a mustard seed. So I'm not worried about this negative energy and this devil and everything he's trying to do because I already got confirmation it's going to be okay, right? But yes, he is trying to attack me through my children. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper, Y'all, we were supposed to be making gingerbread houses today. So let me tell you, I made a tradition that every year me and my kids do the gingerbread house kits, right? I actually started that with my oldest son. Um, but this year, I said, you know what? I'm going to get graham crackers and I'm going to get all the stuff that we need for um, to make gingerbread houses 
because I'm not a baker, y'all. I'm gonna be all the way honest. Um, I can cook. I can cook my butt off, okay? Like, I can cook my dad and my grandma, both my grandmas. I can cook, y'all. I stayed around my grandparents, and my dad was a cooker. He can cook his butt off, too. So, I can cook, but I'm not big on baking. I'm, I'm, I'm not a baker. So, I wasn't gonna bake no gingerbread. I wasn't gonna do it. Um, so, I got graham crackers. But, these kids done clogged up my sink, so they in there playing plumber, with the with the uh plunger trying to get these dang uh orbit beads or whatever y'all know those those are them little beads that uh you add water to them and they start filling up they suck up the water so i don't know what whose bright idea it was it was really my daughter on some sneaky stuff she didn't ask and she didn't ask because she knew I was going to say no. She knew I was going to say no. So she didn't ask. She was just in there doing some stuff. But in the process of her doing some stuff, she didn't drop some of them down, uh, quite a few of them apparently, down the drain. So now my drain is clogged. So there's a good chance I'm going to have to take this drain apart, which I'm so not happy about, y'all. Because if you know me in real life, I'm so germophobic. <laughs> I am so germophobic. Um, but I did get the stuff that I needed to take the pipes at the bottom and I've been had a snake. It was just, I couldn't put the, put it down the sink because, um, my garbage disposal, right? My sink, it's, it's a two sided sink, but they're still connected with the garbage disposal. So I'm gonna have to end up being plumber. <sighs> one of those moments that I wish I wasn't single y'all look, that's one of the moments Cause I'd be like, honey, what do you need me to do to support you and your plumbing skills? I'll hand you the, the ranch. Look, I'd be right there with the towel. I'll stand there and there with you. But I really don't want to mess with, mm, I don't want to, y'all. But I ain't got no choice because it's the kitchen sink. So as soon as they finish. Oh, and they've been on their best behavior, y'all. They cooked me breakfast in bed today. Like I said, they in there playing plunger. They in there playing plumber. Like, they really trying because they know I'm not happy about this situation that they done stopped up my sink. So, y'all pray for me on that because if I have to take this sink apart, best believe I'm going to be in there whining and fussing <laughs> the whole time, y'all. Ugh. Ugh. Just thinking about it got my skin crawling. So, um, I am going to try to get on here again. I, I, at one point in time, I was at least getting on here Monday through Friday to keep sending out the positive vibes. Yeah, I really just got into um, studying. And like I said, I, I have some storms over here, too, that I'm going through. I will tell you, once you start working on you, right, once you start self-healing, these storms do not bother you as much, right? And I'm going to be honest, y'all. So I had to go through a little bit of isolation because the Holy Spirit told me other people that are speaking negative are still planting seeds. And if you're already trying to fight through some negative stuff and you got people in your ear talking negative, it doesn't do nothing but but stir up more negativity, right? Because you're already thinking negative. You're trying to retrain your thoughts not to think that way. And then here comes somebody like blah, 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 negative, negative, and you can't do this. And they start limit, they, their limitations on their thought process, they start spitting it out to you, right? And they don't mean to do it, but y'all, that limited thought process is what's hindering us. It's not God doing that. God wants to give us the world, right? But if you limit yourself in your thoughts and you keep saying what you can't do, that's where the limitations coming from. And the devil will use anything to tell you that you can't do it. People, TV shows, music, anything, y'all, anything. So you have to get that stuff out of your system. You have to get that stuff out of your environment. So sometimes you have to fast from people too. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately. And I didn't understand it at first. And, you know, the people that I had to fast from, some of them do understand it and some of them don't. But when God say move, move. Okay. And that was another thing that he had to deal with me on because I was on some 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, Lord, I hear you. I'll get up and do it tomorrow. And that tomorrow was tomorrow and tomorrow, right? So that's why I was saying that's why I posted that um that delayed obedience is still disobedience because if God say move, then you need to move. If he's telling you to duck, then duck because next thing you know something's flying out you, right? So same thing in life. If he tell you to leave somebody alone, leave them alone because next thing you know they attacking you. They attacking you physically. And I'm I'm saying this from experience because there's a few people that I should have let alone a long time ago and I didn't and because I didn't, they attacked me. And I mean it 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 was it was like an emotional attack though, not just physical, it was an emotional attack. Like, wow. You know, here I thought I was hearing something wrong. And no, that was God telling me to leave you alone. So y'all just just follow your instincts, right? And the more you clean up your, in, your energy, the more you can hear your instinct. Your instinct is not going to tell you any wrong. That is your connection to the spiritual side, right? That is your connection. So follow your instincts. And the more you clean up your, your energy, the more you will see how your, how your life will manifest in the way that you're thinking, okay? Because just like you can manifest positive blessings, you can manifest that negative stuff too. So don't sit here and blame God and you're thinking negative, okay? Because if you're thinking negative,